Well, Thanksgiving is coming early this year, thanks to the new Broadway show, The Thanksgiving Play. The comedy follows a group of educators trying to put on a culturally sensitive school pageant with an all-star cast that includes two-time Tony winner Katie Finneran. And it's so good to have Chicotery. you here. Charcuterie! Charcuterie! <laughs> Favorite words. And we, we walked into in the hallway yeah. and we're completely matching. First of all, I love you. I love and you. And I was so glad you were going to be here today. And then, of course, we matched totally. And we were pregnant at the same time. Yes, which so you we have totally a special remembered. bond. You yeah. had five million guests. How you remember? I don't know. Because I remember all the special things. It's only <laughs> the special things. But listen, let's talk about you yes. because that's why you're here. So, um, is it true that you said yes to this play before you even read it? You know, it, it was Rachel Chavkin and Larissa Fast Horse, and I heard what the topic was and I thought what a great to be able to make people laugh yeah. and learn something because yes. my education about Native Americans was hideous. Yeah. I had the buckles and the pilgrims and the it feathers. All and of our the, education. Right? I know. Terrible. And Larissa Fasthorse is has really opened up my entire education about the history of our country, which is not so great. Which is not so great. And, and surprising that she is the first Native American playwright on Broadway. She likes to, to clarify that she's the first known female Native American playwright on Broadway, okay. which means that there are a lot of Native American people which may have hidden the fact that they were Native American right. okay. so that they wouldn't be discriminated against, right. which is also very sad. Very. But right now we're celebrating that she's the you know first Native American female Broadway playwright. I love it. And she's written an extraordinary play that sort of feeds you the medicine in such an incredibly fun, self-deprecating, incredible ways for uh, white people who are, uh, well, for a cast. Yeah. Don't we give anything away. But um, An amazing cast, They're too. doing the best that they can. Yeah. You know, sort of making this first Thanksgiving play for elementary school kids. And uh, it goes horribly, horribly wrong. I, I, I can't wait to see it. So you play the drama teacher. I do. So I'm just wondering, like, did you pull from any of your own drama teachers? I've had drama teachers from the time I was 12, so I had a lot to go from. I think in like <laughs> yeah. public school, it would be it's just she has a lot of energy. She's very awkward. She went to Hollywood to try to be a star once, and she was just too awkward and kind of didn't really know how to do her hair or her makeup and just too awkward for Hollywood <laughs> yeah. and so she's now she's a drama teacher doing plays like The Iceman Cometh and like you know O'Neill yeah. there's a Samuel Beckett picture on the wall so they're all <laughs> yeah. inappropriate plays right, right. for 15 year olds yeah right well let's talk about this cast because so. it's an incredible cast I mean you've got Scott Foley. Get to kiss um, him every night. You've got him every night. Darcy Carden. Darcy Carden. You've my got goddess. Chris Sullivan. So what is it like when the, when you guys get together? I know you have the most Tonys under your belt, the most Broadway shows under your belt. But when you all get together in a room, what is that experience? It's always like? the first day of school, always, right? which is which puts everyone, no matter your experience or your age, it puts everyone on the level playing field, yeah. everybody. So you're always, you know, not really sure. Everybody's insecure. I don't care if you're Patti LuPone or I, it's, it's, everyone's yeah, insecure. There's the gotta, you gotta day. have that nervous energy. Yes, and we all just clicked. Love it. I mean, Darcy Carden and I looked at each other. It's her first Broadway show. And we looked at each other and we went, I went, you're safe. And she goes, I'm safe. <laughs> and like, we just have dinner together every night. And I she's, love She's that. amazing. She's I love so that. funny. So are the guys. They're just lovely people. Well, I got to talk to you about up here, too, because I, I we had the the two of the stars on oh, recently. It's, so I watched it for that. It's such a great show. I love your character. Uh, pretty much I love the fact that you have this wig with these bangs. It's my it's so hair. Oh, there, the there, there, there's a little picture. Is that all okay, your it's, hair? It's my hair and then it's just like a piece. But that's all anybody talks about is my bangs in the show. <laughs> yes. Which I'm totally Because the bangs could have like their own Instagram their page. Their own show. Yes. They're having a spinoff. Yes. But, so Lindsay has these inner voices that sing to her. If you could have one voice that sang to you, what, who would it be? A Sarah Gore. <laughs> I love it. Sarah Gore. I love it. I love First it. of all, you need to teach me. I, I hope we can do a segment one day together where you teach me how to cook. Because you have three kids, right? Yeah. I cannot cook. I, I oh, I'll teach you the basics. I don't get it. Yeah. The cutting. I went to the emergency room, room one night when I was single. It was horrible. Never cut. I don't cut anything. And that was the end of cooking it for was. you. It was. <laughs> We're going to change that. Terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, you can catch Katie in the Thanksgiving play now at the Hayes Theater. Next time she comes, we're going to be cooking. Hey, good to see you.